Scandal on a small college campus in Vermont. State police say the former acting president of Southern Vermont College killed himself as federal investigators were closing in. Craig Smith just got back from Bennington, Vermont. He's got the story live in our newsroom. Craig? Uh, Greg, James Beckwith served as Southern Vermont College's president for a year. Earlier this month, he stepped down amid allegations he embezzled nearly half a million dollars. Beckwith was 58 years old. According to Vermont State Police, his body was found last night at his Londonderry home about 45 minutes north of the Bennington campus. And that was video of him at the college during last year's convocation. This is video we shot tonight. We went to the college campus, but we were turned away at the gate. Security there told us that roadblock was there because of today's news. Police say Beckwith appeared to have shot himself and no foul play was suspected. Beckwith resigned on February 3rd. The Bennington Banner quoted him shortly after that as saying there was no reason for resigning, just time to move on, he told the paper. The AP and the Burlington Free Press report Beckwith had just been confronted by investigators about $440,000 spread out over three checks issued to Merrill Lynch, some of which Beckwith is accused of using to pay down two mortgages. I called the college tonight hoping to speak with the president, Karen Gross. Instead, she sent a brief written statement offering sympathy to Beckwith's family and saying the college is resilient and fiscally sound. According to a report in the Burlington Free Press, Beckwith created a phony legal claim that supposedly had it to be settled, which led to college officials issuing those three checks. In the newsroom, Craig Smith, CBS 6 News.